Laser technology has become a distinctive trademark of Lithuania. Lithuania has a lot to be proud of. Its advancement of the laser industry, its high quality linen production, its delicious honey, and so much more. But when it comes to Lithuania's influence and impact outside of its own borders, the country has apparently been making the news in all the wrong ways. What am I talking about? Well, Lithuanian criminals and gangs operating across Europe. It's pretty crazy what I found. So I hope you'll stick around to see what I'm talking about. So in a previous video, I told you about the crazy story of Ivaldis Rymashauskas and how he tricked Google and Facebook into sending him a total of $122 million. Yes, this absolutely is a crime, but in the grand scheme of things, when comparing it to violent crimes and taking money from the poor, the theft of millions of dollars from two mega-rich tech giants, who didn't notice for at least a year or two, feels a little less concerning. And it's perhaps a little more on the comical side when you consider how he pulled it off. The crazy thing is, though, the more I look into crime and Lithuanians, the more crazy stuff I find. And, sadly, it's a lot more serious and sad than what Mr. Rymashevskis did. Let me explain with a few examples. In 2021, a Lithuanian crime gang was arrested in Scotland for being part of a cannabis dealing operation. Sentenced in 2022, their penalty was a total of about 11 years of jail time between the four of them. I'm gonna skip the Scottish accent here, but during sentencing, the judge said to them, You all came to this country, and instead of working hard and taking advantage of the opportunities afforded to you, you engaged in criminal activity, growing and trafficking a controlled drug. This is a criminal offense in this country, as it is in your own, and you did this for profit. In March 2022, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project published a big article about how a Lithuanian gang had taken over Ireland's heroin trade. The Lithuanian-run organized crime group attracted people to Ireland with a promise of good, honest jobs. But they then used violence to force them into selling heroin and crack on the streets. The gang, funny enough, was known as the Russians. But despite the name, the leader of the group was Lithuanian. Irish and Lithuanian authorities had identified at least 65 people, mostly Lithuanian men, whom the group called the Russians, forced to sell drugs in Ireland and Northern Ireland between 2015 and 2020. Insiders say that it was more like hundreds of people. Lithuania, the UK and Ireland can effectively tackle such criminal activity as human trafficking, drug trafficking and money laundering that is impacting the three jurisdictions involved. In May of 2022, the UK government removed 15 dangerous foreign criminals and sent them back to Lithuania. These criminals were convicted of murder, bodily harm, and theft. Their combined sentences amounted to over 66 years in prison. From those criminals, there was a convicted murderer sentenced to 12 years in prison, an individual convicted of fraud and sentenced to 14 years, and an individual convicted of robbery and two counts of assault and sentenced to 6 years and 8 months in prison. Later that year, in September of 2022, Europol released its most wanted list of criminals who were, or are, members of organized crime groups. I don't know how long the list is, but six Lithuanians were on that list. Drug smuggling and weapon smuggling were the main crimes among the individuals listed, but murder and physical violence were also mentioned for some of those guys. Side note here, if I check the September 2023 list, there are now just two Lithuanians on the list of 41 individuals. And then, most recently, Euro Weekly News reported in August 2023 that Spanish police arrested Lithuanian gangsters involved in drug trafficking and arms sales. The investigation revealed that there was a well-structured criminal network involved in both drug importation and distribution, as well as the illegal trade of firearms on the black market. 12 members of the Lithuanian criminal group were arrested on charges of drug trafficking, illegal possession of firearms, and membership in a criminal organization. The report says that authorities seized two 9mm firearms with erased serial numbers, a blank weapon, four beacons, 17,000 euros in cash, 100 marijuana plants, as well as five luxury vehicles, motorcycle, and multiple mobile devices. So yeah, Lithuanian gangs across Europe. I guess it's kind of a thing. But I do want to make it clear, it's obviously not just Lithuanians. 
In fact, I found similar stories about how Estonian and Latvian criminal gangs would lure their fellow countrymen westwards into a life of crime. It's sad that it's something that has apparently happened to many people in poorer countries who are looking for opportunities in richer ones. But if we just focus on Lithuania for today's video, what else is there to say? Interestingly, an old 2016 article by the website called The Black Sea reported that in the EU, Lithuanians had the highest percentage of their expat population in jail. From around 330,000 Lithuanian expats in the EU, around 2,000 were in prison, according to Eurocrime's estimates. Karolis Zibas, research fellow at the Vilnius Institute of Ethnic Studies at the time, was quoted in the article as saying, People are being brought from Lithuania to other EU countries not for forced labor or the modern slavery of sexual exploitation, but for implementing criminal activities. Part of the Lithuanian prisoners are not criminals, but they're victims of human trafficking. Well, although this article was years before, it does match up perfectly with what happened with the Russians group in Ireland. So other than those who fell victim to lies about legitimate opportunities abroad, what else might explain Lithuanians being criminals outside of Lithuania? Well, speaking to the Black Sea, a Lithuanian criminal said, In Lithuania, you get 8-10 to 10 years for drug dealing. It's insane. In Germany, the first time you're caught drug dealing, you'll get a fine, something around 300 euros. Second time, you'll be on probation. And well, the third time, they will give a few years of jail time to teach you a lesson. Here in Lithuania, they catch you one time and you're done. So there's no surprise everyone is trying to go abroad to earn money. In Lithuania, everybody from the police knows you, the detectives might be following you, and listening to your conversations. There, in the EU, people don't pay attention to you. You can do whatever you want there. That's what people are playing on. They pay more attention to the Russians and the Polish. They don't really know yet what Lithuanians are. Now that is a pretty interesting explanation. One that I would never have thought of, but it makes sense. Lithuania is a small country, and I imagine, because of this small population, the police would have a good sense of higher level crime going on. Perhaps the instability of Lithuania's post-Soviet but pre-EU years, where the country was run by gangsters, was a reason for the harsh penalties for committing crimes. I can also imagine that criminals had to go somewhere after the Lithuanian government and authorities regained control of the country in the late 90s and early 2000s. So hopefully this phenomenon of Lithuanian gangs operating in various parts of Europe is a thing of the past. But judging by the fact that the most recent story only took place in August 2023, it still might be a thing. So did you know about these Lithuanian criminal gangs around Europe before watching this video? Let me know by leaving a comment. And for the Lithuanian word of the day, let's go with the word pabegis, which means fugitive. Pabegis. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.